Hi, this is a quick example on how to use your mailing list provider to include your emails from your pre-enrollments and to then broadcast a message to them um, and continue to follow up with those, uh, with those prospects. Um, you want to go to yourmailinglistprovider.com and of course you want to create an account if you don't have one. I'm going to log into my account by clicking in the top right, login and I'm going to add my username and password uh, once you're in your mailing list provider.com you could then uh, do several things here um, you can create a newsletter to an existing list um, you can manage your contacts um, by just simply clicking manage contacts uh, you could uh, browse your contacts that you already have installed uh, you could add and import new contacts uh, so let's, for, inc for instance, let's click on Manage Contacts and Add Import Contacts. Okay, the next step that we're going to have here uh, is that we're going to have options. We could either add a contact by just simply putting an email address in, you know, dvmali at gmail.com. Um, you could do that one by one. You can paste contacts from another source. Uh, or you can upload a, an entire CSV or Excel file by browsing and locating that on your desktop. Now here's how you would add a group in contacts. So for instance, in the add a contact section, if you scroll down, there's a link for adding a new group. So let's add a group here for Styforp uh, pre-enrollers. Let's add that here. And what you'll see is that this group now will then be added to all of my groups here. So here it is. So if I wanted to add one email address, dvmali at gmail.com, if I want to add that email to this group, I would then select the checkbox and I would hit import. And now dvmali at gmail has been added to Stifor pre enrollers group. So the same thing would apply uh, if you wanted to add and paste contacts. For example, back in Styforp, if we click on Contact Manager and you scroll down to a list of all of your enrollers, you could hit the button called Export in the top right. What this will do is launch a CSV file. You can open that file. I already have it opened here. I'll show you. You could then select the column where the emails are located and you could edit, copy. What I would recommend is opening up a, a um, text only file such as Notepad and I would paste my contacts in there and I would scroll up at the top and just remove the word email address because that's the field. We don't need that. Get rid of the extra space, select all, edit copy, go back into um, your mailing list provider in the group paste contacts, select the box, paste your contacts, scroll down, click the box, stifle up enrollers and import. This entire group now is now imported into that group that I select that I created. Okay, here you go. Contacts added, 1,712 1, contacts not added. The reason why this is here, five, is because there must be some sort of duplicate in the above, and your mailing list provider um, filters out the duplicates and just includes the contacts that you want here. So there you go. Uh, if you'd like to send the message to these contacts, simply go back to the dashboard and you can create a newsletter right here by clicking this link. You'll be able to select next. You could then select and create a from address. So if I want to send it from Danny or if I want to add a new from address, you can do that. You put your subject here. You put your message here. And scroll down, hit next. Scroll down, select the group you want to send it to. Scroll down, hit next, and you're